Today we will see the alternate way to add any item to the cart in Amazon. So these are the basic steps for the initialize the browser and we launch the Amazon website. So after launching Amazon so we will search for samsung s22 so right click on that search bar inspect uh, here we have the id which is a unique so we will take it one double forward slash tag name is in code inside the square bracket at the rate paste it id here we have a one of one so copy this six path driver dot find element by dot x path and paste it here dot We have to perform send keys operation here. In that, uh, we have to type Samsung S22. So, this is the first step. After type the Samsung S22 we have to click on this search button so inspect it here we have the id which is unique one so we will take it copy double forward slash input Inside the square packet at the rate, paste it. So, this is get the X path of this search button. So, driver dot find element by dot X path. paste it and here we have to perform click operation so s22 ok so after searching we have to click on this samsung s22 5g ok so right click on that and inspect so right click inspect So here we have the class copy it double forward slash span inside square packet at the rate class we have one of twenty so we will see another so we so we will see the alternate option for that okay so one of 20 so we have to find our element 
which one is ours 19 so it will i think first one is our so no need to give the number index number so copy it Travel dot find it right by dot text path paste it dot click operation we are performing okay so let's perform this one this much so control s save and run run as java application Browser initialize it launch the Amazon site maximize search for S22 and click on Samsung S22. Okay, so next operation is we have to add this element to the cart. Okay, so before this, it will shift it from previous window to the next window. So in selenium our control is right now on this window okay this window but after clicking on this mobile samsung galaxy s22 s20 it will shift it to the next window so for that we have to shift our selenium focus from previous window to the next window to handle elements from this page okay so we have to click on add to cart so if we don't shift the our selenium focus from previous window to the this window it will show the element not found exception okay so no such element exception it will uh, throw so suppose if we inspect this add to cart and take this id copy double forward slash input in square bracket and thread so we have an our i x path of add to cart copy it and driver dot find element by dot x path test it dot click operation so let's perform this and see what happen we are able to add successfully add to cart or it throws the exception let's see what happen launch the amazon site maximize samsung s22 click click on s20 okay and okay it haven't add atom to that cart okay so see here this shows the no such element exception why this here uh, it will show no such element exception because we haven't shift our selenium control to that next window means we have to shift means switch our control to the next window so how we switch so let's 
so for that we have a code driver dot switch to window okay and in that we pass the id okay so in this way we have to shift our control okay so if we have the method of driver dot driver dot get driver dot get window handles method okay so so this will returns the set of string okay this will return the set of string set of string string s so we are stored in s variable okay but uh, this set of string does not store the values of index for windows in the form of index okay so that's why we use the array list in that array list go to new array list so in that we pass the variable of set so it will array list okay so after that by using ar dot get index okay so if if ar dot get zero means zeroth index means zeroth index means we get the id of this index means this window this window id we will get okay so if we want we if you have to shift our selenium control from this window to this window so we have to find id of this this window okay so for that suppose we we print it okay and i will show you the both ids which are different okay so this id we will this id we will get for zeroth index and this id we will get for next index means if we put one here so we will get the id of next window where we want to handle the add to cart we have to perform if we have to perform operation on this window okay so we have we want the id of this window okay so so by this method so here we pass the i we have to pass the id so before passing id i this is id in the form of string so we have to store a variable a data type is a string okay string then here we have to pass this id copy it and paste it okay so this will this will be driver dot switch to window there and in that method signature we have we get the id so in this way we will switch the our selenium control from home window to the next window okay so after switching window to the next window 
it will able to perform this operation easily okay so let's see what will we get the output okay run We will choose the S20. So click on add. So now we will see the item, the item will be added to this card. Okay. So now we will not get any exception. And also we have able to print the both the ids of the window so this one is the id of a home window and this one uh, this is the id of the next window so this id we want to switch our control for uh, hand uh, for handling the item okay for this page so in this way we can shift our control and handle any operation perform any operation like change the quantity we can handle any any web element we can able to handle by switch the switch the window handles method okay so by this method drive dot switch to window in this way we can handle the web element from the next window okay so this is for in this video okay